Welcome, everyone. This is Rachel Hyphen Dara Colin Prince, and I'm here with some very amazing guests. And not only are they special humans or special individuals or special people on the planet to me, but they're also people that are in my documentary films. I got the, the some of the stars of my documentary films, The Raw Natural with David Wolf, David Avocado Wolf, as some of you know, and some of you might know him as Dave and Colin Wolf. And we also have Russell hyphen J Colin Gold. Uh, I mean, postmaster general of our world and and commander in chief and many other titles that we'll get into in a minute. But this is going to be really exciting, and I'm just so thrilled to bring both of these gentlemen together who have not had an opportunity to talk yet. So this is we're all like pumped up and excited. So. Um, what I would like us to talk about on this podcast is the war on time that's happening, the eradication of the past. We're seeing, you know, from from um, chief's perspective, we're seeing the end of governments. We're seeing the end of uh, the United States of America when it came out of bankruptcy and he was there to capture the flag. We're going to talk about that and get into that in more depth. And for those of you that might have seen Last Flag Standing and you might understand um, it at a, um, a deeper level, and others will try to fill you in on this podcast. But so I want to talk about the eradication of the past, the censorship, the where people are being deleted out of history on in articles, online, in social media, Twitter, YouTube, gone, just like a flash. People can just delete it, right? And even the styles manual that shows how we should be writing correctly and correct grammar, like when you write in italics or, or put brackets around things, like it's actually, they're, de they're deleting those books out of history. You can barely find them. I just found one in the library um, and I got that into my hands. But it's just amazing what's happening with the erasing of our past. And so I want to talk about this war on time and how we're potentially moving into a future of, you know, artificial intelligence. That seems like where Elon Musk wants us to be uploaded to a cloud and Nike with their apps. And then it's like, what are they doing with the now space? What are they doing with the now? And we all know, because we're some of us here are yogis, it doesn't matter what happens in the past or the future because we're not there. It's the present and that's the gift, right? And that's chief specialty is the now space. And he captured the now space and I want to get into that and I know you two are going to have fun with that esoterically so but before we do I want to introduce um let's just let's bring in Russell J. Gould um and just uh why don't you just give us a little background and then we'll oh. introduce David okay well i first of all I'm Russell Heaven J. Colin Gould and I've been in the middle of a lot of corporate comprehending corporate mechanics on a global level on the day-to-day -day accoutrements that we get caught up in business, uh, from things such as small as our business licenses to the transaction of, of money around the world. And uh, it's been a, a journey for myself to find what caused contract to move from point A to point B and the style of grammar that we go about things and moving that all into a now space condition because I'm concerned, like David, we were just getting a chance to talk about how they're, they're just thwarting our concepts of the past and trying to tell us what they're going to do to us in the future. And they're staying everywhere trying to control the past and the future, but they're not controlling our now space. And that's because the now space is a, a condition where each one of us has the chance to control that through our own lifestyle, our own journey, our own findings, and our own freedom and our own love and light within us. And so um, I'm just going to kind of turn it over to David at this point and kind of see where he wants to go with it. And I'm anxious to hear more about him because he's like me, uh, for those who are listening. You know, I've seen, seen very little of David. But uh, one of the things that really impressed me was that he never gives up. He knows what that means to have the tenacity to see things through in his studies and his journey of health and some of the things that he has found that it's, it's a never ending condition where he loves his life. He loves to, to learn and to always maintain and never give up no matter what kind of obstacles are thrown at him. So it's an honor to be here, David. And uh, thank you very much, David. And let's, let's, let's roll. 
All right. Thanks, Russell. That was so great. And and I, I'm I'm a freedom fighter at the core of my being. I you know, I've realized that, especially this year, that every single thing I'm doing is trying to create more options, more opportunities, more choices for people. And that has been what I've always been doing. And but my main focus and my deepest love is nutrition and growing and actually growing the food myself. That that is just something that it's, you know, some people it's, it's built into you, you know, you're a built in farmer. And, uh, and even though I'm 50 now, I, I love what Thomas Jefferson said. He said, even, even though I'm an old man, I'm still a young gardener. <laughs> I feel that way. I'm learning stuff all the time. I was on the phone with Germany the other day and there was a great German, German horticulturalist and he was laying down all these great plants and ideas that he had and stuff I'd never heard before. And it's just like that when you're dealing with farming and growing and organics and of course, biodynamic farming. And I do want to just Go over a little bit into biodynamics and Rudolf Steiner. At the core of my being, I'm also, I realized I'm also what Rudolf Steiner would call an anthroposophist, which means that I don't settle for just cursory or surface explanations. I go deeper and and I always sure. have gone deeper. And so that's just been it. That's what led me to you, Russell, actually, is, you know, I'm oh. a live life claimant. I've, I've oh, gone right through on. the, yeah, I've gone through the process. I, I've got my, it's, I've got a cool little passport with my little live life claim on there. And it's all changed around. Wow. My hey, yes. all right, bro. Yeah. I yes. I'm a- hearing about it, you know, learning the mechanics. I, I know that you, uh, you learned about David and, and learned about me many years ago. You know, you, you guys are probably going, well, how come these guys haven't really come forward? Unfortunately, David passed. That was a difficult thing for me to go through because there was a lot of things that, you know, we wouldn't necessarily agree to. You know, I'm more for the people. I'm more for the natural way of doing things. I'm more for, you know, allowing the people to self-govern in themselves and to t- kind of take the corporate structure off of, of our fellow mankind. And, you know, unfortunately, David, they hold us down with finances and the silly things that they've put a value on. But the real value is our health. The real value is taking care of ourselves, loving ourselves. And as we love ourselves, we, we symbiotically, we, we, we manage to love everyone else around us. So it's, it's really an interesting thing as we, as we learn to that journey and how that works. So uh, I just, I, knew- I love that you, you have a sense of that. And I really appreciate that. It, you know, this, the old saying that we had from when we were kids, garbage in, garbage out, you put the good stuff in, great stuff comes out. You put the yes. garbage in, the garbage comes out. And so this is really most applicable in nutrition. And I would say secondarily to that in the, in the things that we're in putting into our mind, even the nutrition is even more important, I would say, um, because it, it it changes the depth of your being. For example, when you go out and you eat wild food every day, you know, we were out picking wild food a couple hours ago. I, I'm out in the mm. forest every day picking wild food and, and eating wild food. There's a depth to your understanding or to your being that can't be achieved by conventionally grown celery. I love celery, but I mean, it's just not the same as say a wild plant out there. And so that, that is something that I think Rudolf Steiner also understood. And that's why he gave us the gift of biodynamic farming and Waldorf education is again, we want, we'll not settle for surface explanations. We go deeper and we want to deepen our character and deepen our being. Yeah. And and that's Right. It's, it's all about that. And then, I, you know, I want to say a friend of mine brought this up the other day, and it's, it's a thing that, that I think binds my entire community of closest friends together is that what we are trying to do is become as healthy as possible for our soul to come fully alive into this realm. Amen. And that's really what nutrition's about. And, and so it's not just like, hey, let's eat better and take these vitamins. You know, I love all that, but it's like, let's go all the way. Let's go to the depth of like, why did the Chinese in their great systems of medicine select these plants like Shizandra berry and goji berry and he shu wu and um, the uh, asparagus root and, you know, all these amazing things. Why that, you know, versus something else? And why did in Ayurveda, they choose Tulsi, the holy basil is their preeminent adaptogen and, and ashwagandha and shilajit. And why were those things selected? This is the thing that turns me on. And, and that's what I love to participate in every day is if I'm eating instead of fasting, which I hope we can get to that conversation. Um, <laughs> I want to go for the, the best and the brightest and the most interesting things around. Well, the, the fasting is something that unfortunately I've had to live out. Uh, I've, I've, I would, they used, uh, when some oh. of my battles and some of my journeys, uh, food was used as a weapon against me. And so in the, what I mean by that is if I would take their food, they would take me down to booking and try to book me into their, uh, they set up like this chipping ward that they, they book people into their jails and their, their clearing houses. And so I figured out if I didn't touch the food, they wouldn't take me down to booking. So I got to find myself in deep meditation. 
I've, I've, I've gone without food for 70 days. And then I've also gone on a separate journey out without food for 48 days. And in that, you really, uh, your body really actually comes alive. You really find what comes, because a lot comes out. It will come out of you, a lot of a, uh, Crud will come out of your pores, on your face, on your feet, through your skin. A lot of things detox out of you very rapidly and simultaneously because I was drinking water during this time frame. So I, I was able to, uh, unfortunately, probably fluoride water because that's all they would give at the jails, I'm sure. But uh, the uh, the water would flush so much out of me. And I, 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 I began to really find that the food wasn't so important to me anymore. What was important to me was the choices that I was making and was the choices that I'm making, would it benefit myself and how would it reflect upon others? How would others benefit from learning my conviction of, of going without the food? And um, it, let me tell you, mind clarity really came into focus. I was able to really dial into who I am as a person to stay humble and meek as I went on this journey. And I found that the judicial system, the federal judges and the state judges would marvel and join with me in the meekness that I took, the journey of meekness and humility, uh, because it's a very humbling thing to break yourself down, as you, you may know. And when you break yourself down, you, you really put a, a value on what's important to you. Because it's all you really focus on and that yeah. focus of that love and that light, it, that is actually your nourishment, right? And as that nourishes you because you become to care and that actually vibrates around your out of your whole, out of every pore in your body. And what was really fascinating for me in that finding was the federal judges and federal attorney general's office in here in the United States refused to have the guards be around me more than one time because the energy that was uh, hmm. coming out of my body would change their condition of thinking and the love and the energy of that manifestation of the thought would then go into their bodies and then they would no longer beat on me. They would no longer mock me. They would no longer, they would, they would stand there and say, sir, we love you. The energy changed. Wow. And I was able to change their thinking. And the gentlemen know who they are. I mean, I don't have to go through names, but, you know, there are many. And they were tough, tough guards, right? U.S. Marshal Service, I mean, when they're beating you up three times a day, it's a thing, right? It's a thing, no doubt. But uh, yes. you, you stand your it, ground. It's a humble thing. You know, people, you know, they, say, they kind of mock me because some of the claims I've made, come of this, come of that. Well, where were they finding themselves? Because I found myself. I found the honor of my word. I found that, that I lived to my word. I was willing to honor it to the death. To me, that meant a lot, right? To the U.S. Marshal Service and the Federal Bureau of Prisons, guess what? It meant a lot. It means that they stopped beating me up. They, we we established other kind of hieroglyphics to move myself because I would not stand up for the servant. When I'm a master of my soul, when you're a master of yourself, you don't move for the servants, right? It's not what happens. Right. So when people mock me or say he's this or claim this or claim that, well, go on your own journey. Go find yourself. When <laughs> you do that, then you'll have a different perspective on how you give your energy and where you choose to give it. Right. Energy is given where it's well received. Right, is that you have a reference point and a commit point, and you've got you've got bearings that come into place, and the mind can do man of wonderful things as you emanate that vibration, and it will come from within. You'll have no choice because you will find yourself, or you will be dead. It's, One can <laughs> find themselves in the now, and that's that's Correct. the one doesn't. Um, find themselves in the past or the future, they find themselves no. in the now. Correct. And, and when I live these things out, the judicial system, the, the, mainly the federal judges and state judges, because of the level of meekness and humility that I went through for myself, they started sharing their secrets with me out of love. And literally, you know, when I claim to be chief judge of the U.S. Supreme Court and chief federal postal judge, it's because it was earned gentlemen were crying old men old women sitting across the table from me on a level playing field in tears crying for the love that i showed for being honest and and living to the terms of my contracts 
And so this was a problem for the, the, the other side because they did not have the capacity to receive. You know, it's one thing to, to, to share your love and to emanate your love, but you kind of like, like you, you don't, you don't put all your apples in one basket, so to speak, because if you do, someone's not, some people aren't willing to pick up the apple and, and value the nutrition that comes out of that. So or you have or to be- as David would say, Sheila Jeet, all your Sheila Jeet in one basket. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes, and so or enough about me. You, are you? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 these are some of the things, David, that I found in my fast, and it was a very humbling and very uh, lightning journey for me. And I, you know, I value, and I, I I'm not saying that it's a, it's what everybody should go through, but a little bit of fast, and then when you come out of the fast, something very fascinating happens to your body. The most fascinating thing is you come through a, a an adaption period. And in that adaption period, you really appreciate the value of the nutrition that you are now putting back into your body. Mm -hmm. It becomes a whole nother level of conscious cognition to say, wait a minute, what's this? Next thing you know, you're you're doing away with the sugars, you're doing away with the pops, you're doing away with you're doing away with some of these things that, that that they put so easily in front of us. Now, don't get me wrong, David. I'll still drink a beer and I'll still eat a steak. Don't get me wrong. I'm not totally, I'm not a total vegan in any stretch stretch (laughs) of the imagination, (laughs) but plant medicine is definitely a valuable thing to find yourself into. If you are going to pass the, uh, you know, I could turn this over to David (laughs) on finding yourself. (laughs) It's really good. I mean, that was, that's an incredible store of your fasting and that's become for me. I I try to get at least two real long fasts in a year for oh, at least a week long, for at least a week long on water a year. And so, okay, you know, you yeah. prep for two weeks and then you try to get that that next sure. one in. So, you know, during the changes of the seasons is usually what we recommend. But that was so cool to hear your story that, you know, it brings you, it, it really brings you into the complete moment. You're in the moment. Oh, yeah. And, and <laughs> you yeah. come into something that's really, it's profound. It's like you come into the hum of all reality, of all of, of the flowing force of source energy. And that's something that is, you know, when we're eating all the time, it's we're, we can't get there. It's just, I'm, uh, there is no other simpler way to put it. When you're eating all the time, you just can't get there. But when, as soon as you stop eating, and as soon as you get to a water fast, something yes. happens. that's very, very profound at the soul level. And, and I think you're right about that. Other people respond to that in a very interesting way, yes. right? Because I had a guy, li- listen to this, Russell, I had a guy here and you'll get a kick out of this too, Rachel. I had a guy living in this house with me for a while who was a breatharian he hadn't eaten or or he hadn't eaten any food in seven years and um and just to be around him was it was intense it was it was intense it was intense like if he (laughs) you know when he would be like we're getting up at 5 a.m and we're working out i would be up there at 4 59 in my bed going please just can we just sleep in you know i'm thinking this in my mind as soon as that clock went to five there was a knock at the door and he's like, yeah. were you ready to go? I mean, he, he never, he didn't need to sleep. He was beyond personal possessions. He did not, yes. when he first flew over here, he lived in the UK, he flew over here and he comes into the airport. The, they seized him at the border because he had no possessions. Correct. He didn't need it. He had two sets of clothes and his, and his iPod. That's it. That's all he had. That's all his possessions. <laughs> so I'm Sweet. running around the airport going, where happened to this guy? Where is he? Finally he comes out of customs. I'm like, what the heck happened to you? And this, this, you know, these are things that so affront our deepest seated belief systems. But like yeah. you fasting for seventy days, I'm sure you didn't think you could do that before it happened, did you? No, I. You know what? <laughs> I, I was I was in such prayer and such med- meditation. Every once in a while, they would be moving me, you know, from point A to point B, and I'd get to do a little sun gazing. You know, I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm a big guy in sun gazing and the energy that comes off that. But you know, me too. It, yeah, yeah, it's for sure, man. And I, I love walking without my shoes on and you know all the things but unfortunately you know we're fighting a lot of the 5g and some of the things that they're trying to thwart us with now they're trying to take that love and that energy away from us right now it's an, and it's unfortunate for our fellow mankind that we would have to um um be dealing with that at this point but uh, it's something that we can overcome and uh, but you know we should be very cautious about the corporate technocracy that is trying to move us into this transhumanist agenda and so some of the things that I've done is put up a safety net for the citizens of planet Earth, not only in a country here in the United States, former United States, but citizens of the world to seriously look at the way we communicate because the, the way we communicate can be placed in a now space 
function where the autonomous comes out of the person, which allows me not to have to micromanage simultaneously because you take accountability for yourselves. But it doesn't mean that there aren't parameters that aren't built up within the quantum system of the now space because I've put safeguard mechanisms so the outside world that's negative can't move into that now space. So it's interesting as I watch the government leaders around the world, they're always talking about erasing the past and take it, tearing down the past. And then they're going to tell you what they're going to do in the future. And they're always staying out of your now space. So hopefully the, the message will go out to the people of the world that communication is relevant. And the, the things that I've set up through the Global Postal Union and as chief judge of the Federal Postal Court have set up a scenario where there's a solution for the people where the, the, the fiction world, the adverbal world can't trespass upon. And I see that in my day-to-day -day life. I've seen it in the core systems. I've used this technology for the last 24 years and I've used it very successfully for myself. Unfortunately, I've come up against a lot of bad actors because there's unfortunately a lot of bad actors out here. There's people that, you know, that believe that uh, in the adrenochrome and they, they believe in, 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 in going away from the plant and the natural herbs to pro pro prolong life in the monoatomics. And they believe this adrenochrome is going to help them in, uh, prolong their life. And, you know, it may make them pretty for a while, but shame on them for destroying and scaring children and engaged in human trafficking and the things that are going on there. And there's a lot of real nasty, powerful players that are involved with that. And so they've been covering up this agenda for a long time and they've done away with the nutritional side of things because if they were, if they would have placed the money and the energy that they put into kidnapping yeah. kids and they would have put it into teaching and cultivating of the land and the natural supplements that are here for we, the people and the worldwide, the whole Agenda. reality yeah. and the manifestation of love of who we are as a people to each other would not would be at a different level. You would yeah. not see the destruction on the streets. You would not see the animosity. Nor would you see the, the division because the people will have found themselves within their own value, placing the value in the nutritional needs that the body naturally is a chemistry co complex that will create your ATP and create the necessary things ready for you to give you the cellular energy that uh, th that gives the vibration that will that people can uh, commune with and, and and love to be around. So uh, hopefully the, the want, word gets out. I want to address the technocracy. I want to get into that a little bit and the and these downloadable AI systems and fusing humans with AI and all these other dystopian nightmarish scenarios that are being played out right now. And I, I just want to lay this out from the Rudolf. I think Rudolf Steiner had this as the best warning over a hundred years ago about what was coming. And he, he had put this together as the Aramonic, he called it the Aramonic deception, referencing the Persian deity of evil and technology, because sure. as we know, like money, right? It could be used for serious evil. It could be used for good too. Technology mm -hmm. is the same, of course. So this is something that we're up against is the technology being turned against the people for, for evil. And uh, just so we're, we're clear, I think you're clear with, with this, Russell, and same with Rachel's. We No, we're not going to be hooking up to an artificial intelligence. We're not going to have some no. downloadable USB put behind our ear. None yeah. of that. No way. That's a that's no a way. violation of our human dignity. And, yes. and I, you know, I like uh, also in referencing this is like those are, you know, algorithms and mathematics and, and the, you know, the irrational number and the rational number and sure. you know, the, the Fibonacci sequence. Those are yes. things that are in nature, but they are not nature. Right. Correct. Nature They're sits on top of those things. And so to some degree, when we totally focus on algorithms or on number systems or on binary systems of code, we're going to a subnatural. Yeah, it's a multiverse. It's a multiverse. Yes. And so I like going back to the real computer, which is you and me. Um, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> right? we're, the, we're the most advanced creation there is. And so intelligent being. Intelligent mm -hmm. being. And also because those AI systems don't have a heart. We do. They, 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 they do not have the, the compassion for empathy or compassion upon our fellow mankind, for they have been programmed to a condition, a state where the, the capacity to detox the AI system is in the hands of someone else. It's not in the hands of the natural creation, which we breathe, we drink, we are water-based beings, we are carbon-based beings, and they are those 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 uh, transhumanist concepts um, can't correlate to the naturalism that that we are we are hereby. 
So Russell, Russell, what you said about um, us being in a space of um, like we're, we're natural beings and we, we, it just boggles my mind to think that we're erasing the, the history Sorry, sorry, the vibration's getting so big here, guys. I, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> you guys carry a good load here. Yeah. But, but, uh, what, well, but the, yeah, the erasing of history and kind of pushing us into this like end game or whatever these terms these people are throwing around. First of all, it's completely unnatural. Second of all, it's impossible. But it to me, the way I look at it, Rachel, it's like a calling of souls. It's like the these enti- yeah, calling of souls. It, I, I kind of believe my personal feeling is not you know as an anthroposophist is that there's the the creative center right, which is the heart, the the Christ energy. You know many different names for it, and that's the source energy that creates. Yeah. And then uh, that is beset in this dimension by uh, um, adverse adversarial energies. One of which being, uh, I like the way Steiner put it because it made the most sense to me, what he called the Luciferic impulse, which is the escapism, the disintegrative oh, 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 aspect, yes, yes. the inability yeah. to hold parameters. That that was one, That's one form of evil. And then the other one, which we face even more yes. today, I would say. And by the way, the escapism on that side, you know, he called it Luciferian. That would, we could also call that drug and alcohol addiction. Right yeah. and and, yeah. and, and substance mm-hmm. abuse, the escapism. Mm-hmm. Then on the other side is what I think is even more crisis, more of a crisis today, more adversarial today, is the materialism, the technology, yeah. the technocracy yes. that somehow this technology is going to save us or make us happier or improve our our life is another big trap. And both of those. I, I like the, to call them parasites, um, are closing in on the human race right now. And they're, they're going to mm-hmm. grab up many, many, maybe even millions of souls. And, uh, and for all of us and everyone listening right now, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. The materialism is not going to help you out. And the escapism is not going to help you out. Yeah, you need to that- find that. Uh, thank Creative you center. For, for picking up the slack. Yes, David, that's exactly where I was going with Russell when he was talking about the adrenochrome and how people are using that as it. But if they had only put the same amount of energy and time into the herbs and the, you know, the the the, the health and the healing and the holistic wellness paradigm, I, I, I can't even imagine where we would go. I don't know if you guys watch. We're, we're Beyond. going there. We we are eventually yeah, going to get there. I wouldn't oh, yeah. want to go there. It seems like such bliss. I, I say, well, you know, is this the best they could dream up? Is 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 like what we've got? Like this is ridiculous. So as we move into the new earth and we we um we watch them eradicate the the, the past, I, I, I wonder, you know, what where we're headed, and and so. I wanted to just briefly just say to David is you, you mentioned herbs and Chinese herbs and all of that stuff. What's your opinion on, you know, are, are, are those gone? Are those lost arts of the Chinese herbs and the arts, you know, all of these things that we have, the technology of the past, the ancient wisdom is, is that, is it going bye-bye? Is there going to be a it's, revival? It's more alive today than ever. It's more okay. alive today than ever. To and it. you know, when it, when it comes alive within you in the forest, like we were just in the forest hunt. We were really looking for reishi mushroom, uh, but we ended up finding some other mushrooms instead. And when it comes <laughs> alive within you, you feel the ancients you, and they're alive now, right? Because it's all happening, right? It's all, you know, Avatar. collapsing into this moment right now. <laughs> and so it, there's a, the, I guess the, the phrase that comes up, and I think you'll, you guys will both appreciate this, is fulfillment. The thing right. that happens when you're in alignment with the now, when you're in alignment with where the, the with what human destiny actually really is, when you're in alignment with your creative center, you feel fulfilled. You like when I'm out in the forest hunting reishi mushroom, I could, there's not a thing that I'm, I don't want to be on my phone on Instagram. I mean, you know, it's like, that's no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I would concur with that. The, the fulfillment that you have, you are just totally satisfied. And, and you know what? Back to the parasite of the material things. The material things can't love you back like the natural things can. Because the natural things always give and they build your body. They build your energy. They build who we are. But the material things, we can just look at it. We can touch it. We can use it. It doesn't have the same satisfaction. Though it is nice, don't get me wrong, it is not the same as the as the love of how we conduct ourselves um, for 
the material, uh, the avoid of the material things that, that people kind of Yeah, and, and I just, uh, I actually just gifted uh, Chief one of these. It's a, a 5G. It's a safe space. I don't know if you know Dimensional oh, nice. Designs, um, mm -hmm. one of my favorite companies for being a protectant. I think a lot of us now need to protect ourselves in the best way possible because there's just so much coming at us. It's so hard to get into the woods nowadays. What do you, what do you recommend people do, David, you know, just for that? And then I want to talk, go backtrack a little bit and, and actually get to Chief because some people don't know what he's done. And so when he says he spent 70 days fasting in the, you know, jail cell, like, what does that mean? But I want to just quickly answer to that question about what should people do? Cause, okay, cause right so what, now, I mean, like protecting ourselves is it, from everything that's bombarding us is, you know, is, is what's it's our crazy. choice. You know, I always go with what has been gifted me and come into my field. So I was talking to Russell earlier that, you know, my good friend Patrick Flanagan is the one who turned me on to the live life claimant stuff originally. And then my friend Henrik, who's a great Danish friend of mine, put us through the process. He's like, okay, you got to do this paperwork, got to do this steps. And I do want to give a uh, shout out to Henrik, who really loves you, Russell. Yeah, he I, I know Henrik. Such, yeah, he's such a wonderful guy. What a brother. He really, he and, really is. You know, they're, they're up against some real hard times over there. You know, yeah. they're being really locked down. And the, you know, I wish I could put my mind into their mind to show them things, how to do things in that t in that thing that they're up against. It's unfortunately, it's 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 such a militarized thing against these people. Now, it is just a total military takeover of planet Earth. We are being tried, totally run down. I mean, if you look at um, the things happening here in the States, I mean, you've got Operation Warp Speed, which is the military industrial complex just beating down our doors. These are the things that, you know, the presidents of the past when before the United States ceased to exist warned us about. Right. So we're not we apparently people are not learning. They're just going through and they're not they're not comprehending that which is happening around them. So when you have natural substance and you have natural healing and natural foods, we then now have a the better way to our cellular energy can grasp and hold on and retain so we can comprehend these things as we uh, figure out how to compartmentalize them either into our lives or out of our lives. And so, um, you know, I, I know those guys over there and I, I do, my, my heart goes out to those guys. I know that, you know, I haven't got a chance to share everything that needs to be done over there with those guys, but it's a, they need to, you know, it's a, do you want to say where situation. they are? No. They're in Denmark. Well, They're in Copenhagen. Denmark. Denmark. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I know. I, well, I've Australia's with those guys. a wreck. I mean, every, every place. It's yeah. It's it's gonna go everywhere. I'm doing my best here because you know it's gonna be showtime for me very shortly with this fake presidential election. They're all gonna walk into my house, the U.S. Supreme Court, where I am chief judge. Whether the world wants to laugh at me or not, I really don't care. I know what I've done, and they know what I've done. And so, uh, so when so I get I'd a like chance, to get into that, I want to get into this. I want to get into this a little bit more, Russ. Uh, Chief, yeah, I, I think that this is something that we want to um, address um, next. Well, this is if you just you just hold All on. Right, here. Go, so go as I get as, it, as I get into position, because I am going into position. As I get into position with my militaries and my, my things and my military theaters and the things that I've been doing, um, I'm going to then turn around and help the people of Denmark, help the people of Australia, and help the people worldwide. I control all militaries worldwide through the bills of the ladings as postmaster right and general of our world. I don't say that because I'm just saying it. I'm saying it because it's true, correct, and complete. I've been down the journey in the path for the last 24 years to build up a safeguard mechanism for the citizens of planet Earth. And yes, I am coming. Now, to much to the dismay of those who may try to put their technocracy against we the people, when I run into you, guess what? You're erased. Don't worry about it. Move on with yourself, evolve, and move on to the next space. Move on to your next journey. But for those of you who are in the involvement and have the capacity to comprehend that which I speak of, you know what I'm talking about, and you know the energy that will be brought to that location. And the militaries of the world will comply with me because I am also someone that has the capacity to, because of the grammar and what I've done at the different banking locations around the world, uh, have put myself in a position to make a difference. And uh, not only for, you know, the question is like, well, you haven't given back to the people. Well, not all the lights are on yet, right? Why would I show up for a partial performance? It don't make any sense. I'm here for the people, for all of us. We're all one. We're all together. We all have the same energy. We all have the same love, and we all have the same light. And so because people don't have the capacity to grasp that, we're sitting here fighting amongst ourselves, quibbling about the squabbles of, of a few thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars, right? It's just a materialistic quibble of he said, we said, they said, they said. Nonsensical 
tomfoolery, and it will come to the end. Accountability is coming, and the now space is the now space. Whether they like it or not, it doesn't take a whole lot, and it didn't take a whole lot of people to change that. What it takes is a lot, whole lot of people with the same to hold that same space. And as they hold that space, you will see the manifestation in the now because it will materialize for their world in their now space. Right? It's not about me. It's about all of us together. I'm just a cog, a cog in the wheel, so to speak. I've set up a space. I've studied the, and put a, a construct in place so that the people of the world can use that against this tyranny. Because, yes, I did stand up. And, yes, I did do something about it. Now, you see a lot of bad actors out here in the quantum grammar world now claiming this and claiming that. It's all fake. They did not do the homework. They did not go down the paces, and they will get clobbered shortly enough. And the people that are in the that want truth and want honesty, they're going to see that soon enough. So all the fake actors, you've been put on publication. Your time is about over. Your run and gambit to fool the people of the world and trick people and give them false hope is out of the way. Everybody has the hope within them. Everybody has the love within them. And humble yourselves. Come to the cognition that we are all one and we will all communicate together as one. Well, for without the communication in the now space, we have nothing. We have nothing because they're going to take the past away and they're going to try to tell you what to do in the future. So if you can't find yourself in the now space and you can't get your chemistry right in the now space, I cannot help you. But I have, to, I have who, to. I yeah. have to say, this is this. The light is coming in so intense on me yeah. right now. It's yeah. really un, this is really unusual. Uh, I have to say, you guys, like we haven't had a sunny day like this in weeks, and it's just right now. It just happens to be hitting like boom right in. So nice. going right with your right with your concepts and ideas and words, Russell. That's so on target, right? Like we're we are not we're battling their tyranny all the way. We don't not we're not going to bow down to their tyranny. Absolutely no. not. Absolutely yeah. not. And, th and there's many wonderful minds out here, people smarter than me in their fields. I just happen to figure out the construct of the shipping war that they got us in. Can you describe a that a little bit? Now, might as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just uh, dealing with the birth certificates that we all get caught up in our countries, how they put us on contract and before we get to the land, and some of the things that they've done to uh, kind of uh, project us into their space. Well, the good news is, is we're done being projected into their space. Because it's all about our space and your space and everybody and is space. in the now space. <laughs> and so, so it's a wonderful thing to know. And uh, I've set up, a, you know, mechanics of a corporate structure on a global level uh, because of, you know, the doors that I went through and the things that I found through a lot of hard work. It wasn't only my hard work, but there were many other people that made huge sacrifices. And when we see these bad actors who are lying to the people in quantum grammar, they do not honor the sacrifices that these people have made for the knowledge that they may have, the little bit of knowledge that they may have now. So, so, so I, I want to keep that in mind as people see me and they may not comprehend everything that I do, but everything's done very mechanically and very methodically. You can count on it. You, you know, it, Chief, it, it, there's not, you know, I just want to defend, defend, fend, fend for, for what you've done. Uh, I know many people seem to quabble over nothingness, you know, it just seems so silly when we, when, the, when you've changed the fabric of the planet with what you've done and this quantum wow. level. And so, you know, I personally am very grateful, gratitude. And I know because I, I work the social media and the websites and I get the responses that there are people out there that feel feel this for you. And I feel sad when you have to fend for your honor and what you've done because you have yeah. done this, right? You've done what yeah. you've said. And, yes, um, and so, so thank you for, for doing yeah. that. I, I uh, again, I, I just feel uh, terrible when someone is, is saying this or that, and it is so meaningless when they don't really comprehend what you're about. So no, they, they don't know me and they don't know the chemistry behind me, but, uh, they'll find that, you know, I have a really gentle side and a very loving side. But there's also a side of me that uh, they probably don't want to run into. Right? That's a side that uh, it sheds a, a light in a situation where, you know, people that are not capable of holding that light, um, this is where they get moved out of the way. And so, you know, I don't want to be that mean person because I'm not a mean person. I project love and light for all. 
But if you're a person with bad volition towards the citizens of mankind, where you're trying to scare mankind with chips and vaccines and tomfoolery as such, know now that you are the sworn enemy of the spirit of the peace and the love of mankind. And in that spirit of the war, I will bring it. You've all been told. So enough about that. Let's talk about the love and the light. <laughs> well, so, I, mean, yeah. I would like to talk about the love of the light, but I also want to, for those people kind of who've made it this far into the the 30, 40 minutes we've been on is, could you just, actually, what I want to do is, is set David up for what is your understanding of the end of the United States? And, and could you kind of introduce that topic? And then, you know, do, do you, what's your understanding of the, 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 U.S. and ending in 1999, and then kind of see where David's at with it, and then you can come in, Russell, and fill in the blanks. Oh, okay. okay. Do you want me? To, you want me to start out on that yeah, one? Yeah, I think. Okay, be great. so I, I think it goes back to the, you know, the United States. As first of all, you you have the, the United States as a corporation versus actually the land that we call the United States, and then we have the syntax grammar of. You know, when you say for the people or the people and, that you know, we have to look at the syntax grammar, the way it's all laid out. So the way I understand it is, is that by the time we got to the Civil War and then to the um, Great Depression and FDR, the United States was just we're we're a bankrupt corporation. I think we went through our third bankruptcy in 1999 is when it all finally came down. Mm -hmm. And that's when Russell stepped in to grab the flag. That's how I understand the situation that we're in right now. So yes. the, the reason why we never, I think it was in 1999 or 2000 when they had that presidential election and there was a big kerfluffle there because there kerfuffle. wasn't actually a, there that, that there, I think you mentioned that Russell, you yeah, knew there, that there, there was going to be a problem yeah, there's no guidelines for it. See, and we're going to see the same thing with this election. The only difference with this election and that election is I wasn't chief judge of the U.S. Supreme Court at the time, right? Now that I'm chief judge of the U.S. Supreme Court, now I, ha I have tools in place to get in the door to make sure that the American people and the people of the world do not get hit and destroyed by more lies, all right, the last thing that we're looking for is more lies. What we're looking for is honesty, transparency, truth, fairness, communication, and love so that we can end this fighting, this constant vigil of fighting, either through religion, their fake religions that they've got set up and their religion wars, their fakeness of their, their racial, their racial cultivation that they're trying to perpetrate on us. I love all people. I don't look at people as skin color. I don't look people as this. I look at as, as, as beings of the planet of that, you know, that we're here to be stewards and manage and, and to be a part of. If you don't want to be in the management position, well, guess what? There's all kinds of things that you can love. Your hobbies, your families, your gardening, your, your, your lifestyle. Just use that lifestyle in a way where you're not out stealing babies. Use that lifestyle in a way where not hurting people. Are you communicating with people? Or maybe if you see somebody beat down on the street, go give them a hand up, right? That's a whole different concept instead of trying to get a hand over fist and trick somebody in contracting and get one up on someone. Guess what, everyone? I wound up everybody. Didn't mean to do it on purpose. Just happened because of the evolution and the things that I went and did. I don't even care about that. I'm trying to give it to the people as fast as I can to give them a space there so they can govern their own lives because I too don't like to have a boot on my neck, right? I too like to have the food and, and go out and, and dance or do whatever I want to do and not have somebody telling me, hey, I'm, I'm in a bar and I can't dance can't or hey, I'm in a club and I can't dance or I got to dance in a bubble. Are you kidding me? Or I'm in my living room and I can't have my neighbors over and I hang out and have a barbecue. This is nonsense. This is Tom Fleury at his finest. Nobody's sick. If you're sick, guess what? If you have a cold, the common cold, get some social cooth here. Stay home. Take your vitamins. Give your vitamin C. Lots of fluids. People you know, are. People. Let me up, clarify. People up, are sick. People are uh, do get sick. Yeah. But, but the body is miraculous, and the healing process is miraculous. And David, you uh, know a two, thing or two about healing. Yeah. And so do I. Just from the journeys I've been through, that was the whole point of the raw natural uh, movie, you know, and telling people can recover from injury and harm. 
I do want to just interject something really interesting, and that is we we actually have like you know how you're such an expert in syntax grammar. I mean, Russell, that's yeah. what, you're so good at that. You're the best in the world. It, you know, it, when it comes to being healthy all the time, so you never have cold, cough, flu, fever, sickness, need surgeries, that sure. kind of thing. That technology has been figured out. Oh, we yeah. have oh, everything. Yeah. We have been, we figured it out. We, we figured out the bowel cleansing, the tissue cleansing, the herbs that are needed, the medicinal mushrooms, uh-huh. the, the different strategies, depending on body type, the different strategies, depending on um, ethnical history. And, you know, we know right when, what we've got to do to get oh, somebody to, into a place where they're going to be healthy all, all the days of their life. That technology has been worked out. Now, the systems that were in these corporate systems and basically fake systems, they're trying to stop that. That's their whole thing. That's why. You right. Bet. That's what the that's what these the FDA, Health Canada, all these bodies that are sat between the government, the fake government, corporate government and the pharmaceutical corporations. And yeah, then they have this yeah. body in between called the FDA or Health Canada, whatever you want to call it, is designed yeah. to make sure you don't actually don't get healthy. Correct. That's, it's Correct. just so crazy, Correct. but that's what we're dealing with. That's what we're dealing with. And, and you know, I, I give my word to the citizens of this country and the citizens of the world uh, as I position myself here in the very near future that there's going to be a security force coming into place that that style of thinking and where there is those free thinkers will be allowed to cultivate their fields so that the people can re- re- get the not only sow the fields but harvest the fields and benefit from that. Because we are not we are not naturally sick. We are born here healthy with all the ingredients that we need in our bodies through the through our genetic coding, through our families. But unfortunately, we are being bombarded with nonsense at every single turn, from the day we're born all the way up. And it's it's time that uh, that the citizens of the world stand up together, learn how to communicate, and in the communication we can find the peace and the the, the satisfaction. As back to your word, your satisfaction, which is what it's about, which is the 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 the, the journey of the doing, right? Because there's real satisfaction in that, and and it's a lot of sharing, and it's a lot. It's it takes a lot of effort uh, to figure it out. But once you figure it out, it's just natural. You know, it's just so natural to, to, to be healthy and to love your fellow mankind and love yourself. So And to trust that we can heal and the body can recuperate and heal. I mean, I've had a healing crisis after healing crisis. I refuse to go to the Western doctor because I know I can get past it. It's mental. It's projections. Mind manifests. Neville Goddard works seeing myself healthy and well and then also giving my body the time to unwind and you know, and recover or do what it needs to do to heal and be in, in full health. So, um, one of the things I just want to, um, talk to, we're going to wrap it up here shortly. Uh, we're coming to the conclusion. I think this has been a wonderful discussion. Um, one of the things that kind of boggles my mind is how people can continue. We, we see Joe Rogan, we see, uh, We see Alex Jones. We see these people who, and even you, David, I'm in your, your telegram thread. Um, yeah, there's, there's looping by those guys. Uh, but, and David in his telegram thread, he does a lot of uh, memes and, you know, keeps a sense of humor on the hoax of the COVID and everything. But one of the things maybe, maybe (laughs) let's, let's talk a little bit about, you know, and even with Amy Barrett coming into, uh, the Supreme court, right. She said a quote that really stuck in my mind about how, um, she's only going to focus on the facts of the constitution. Right. So again, she says, what she's gonna do in the future but then she says she talks about a, the constitution which ended because it didn't get renewed in the 1999 um yeah, yeah so, the, so, the, pro- the yeah. problem was is the people that wrote the contract were not around to re-up it right right so there was no continuance between the the the, the those who authorized it and the space in 1999 so they broke the continuance of yes. evidence, list, left the District of Columbia with the fake presidential election of 2000 and spoofed the people. You know what? Congress and everybody, they're all in on it. Yeah. The only people, but they're, they're looping. And, they're looping. And, and not only yeah. that, but they, but they keep talking about this thing that doesn't exist anymore because if they were really judges, they would have to admit that the, that the continuance of the evidence was broken, but they're not being called to do that. And so how, David, Russ, Chief, how can you guys recommend that we – um, we start to speak up about what really happened. You know, I think about my mom and, and how I really want to share this with her and say, you know, 
we got to get out of denial first. We got to get out of denial, you know, just, well, I, just come yeah, to a, real. Yeah. yeah. I think what, one thing that's really powerful and just very helpful is getting people into a, into a learning process where they realize they don't know anything. That's a, that's yeah. once we, once you get them going on that, like, and this is where fasting and cleansing really yeah. is effective. And that's why I like doing these cleanses, you know, th every three months yeah. with, you know, we take a thousand people and we just take them through a cleanse because you come to a place inside yourself, especially when you're fasting as, as Russell, you know, where you just, oh, you yeah. don't know anything. And as soon as you get someone to go, I don't know anything, then they're open to knowing something. Yeah. It comes down to that. And so uh, I, it, it, it's and that's, that's, you know, that's what I love so much is nutrition. There's other ways to get there. You know, you can get there through an educational process. And yeah. you know, this is what Socrates did where he would be in the, in the public square, basically saying, you don't know anything. Nobody knows anything. We don't know anything. And so he was just kind of, you know, it was a gadfly. He was irritating people in the, in the public square. And, but some people would realize, geez, maybe we don't know anything. What a great place to start. We have to get to that place first. So that was yeah, my I little piece. It's, right it's like a self acknowledgement i think that's kind of how we started where chief you were talking about that and coming into this self-recognition of the now space and the self in the now um but I, but i also think you know we're doing uh more and more videos with the chief and getting him out getting the documentary film out uh and and uh i i really i just wish that more and more people would 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 stop defaulting to this discussions about the constitution and the laws that it's it's like martial law right now guys anything goes and they're like but the courts are open so it must still be going on oh my god so, so i feel like you know the more that we can promote the chief and and the end of the u.s and the beginning of something great and new it, it you know we just need to keep sharing that information i just everybody well, I'm, it's, it's, I'm a, go ahead what I was going to say is that, you know, it really begins with that place of like, okay, we got to clear the slate, which is we don't know anything. And then from there, we can start well, to learn something. All I know and, is and that I we, am. Right, right. And so as we learn something, we can build something great. And it, yeah. it will come from that center, that core, what, whatever your name for it, a source energy, cosmic Christ, whatever your thing is. But it's always a creative energy. You'll notice that always mm -hmm. the system, like, for example, the techno communism stuff they're doing right now, it's just the same stuff they always do because they never create anything. It's, these parasites mm -hmm. are not creators. No. And so that's, that would be step two, I would say is like, first, we don't know nothing. Second is yeah. let's get into our creative center and create. Yes. And from, you know, then that's how we build something new. That's, I agree with you. I, the health, I'm going to focus more on the health after talking with you, David, and, <laughs> and really stay centered in, in the health because it's a message, you know, that I am talking to the people now a lot more in the public. And I just need to do a better mm -hmm. job, David. I give you my word, sir, that I'm after talking with you and seeing the, the energy and the light and the love come off of you, I'm going to do a better job at reminding people that it is about our healthy journey. It is about the balance between the nutrition that we uplink, which allows the cellular energy to off, off gas us or mm -hmm. come out of us, so to speak. And so I will, I will do a better job for you and for the world, David. I, I need to improve. And uh, I'm always looking to improve. And this is a real eye opener for me on the things that I don't know and how to improve upon the things that I don't know by what I've learned here today from you. So thank you very much for the lesson. <laughs> I, uh, I humbly right think, thank you. Yeah, yeah, for sure, David. I, 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 I'm someone that always looking to learn and I will do a better job at conveying the health <laughs> message to the people. I just want you to know that, David. Chief, you, so you have a lot on awesome. your plate. Yeah, he does. <laughs> See, you do have I a mean, lot on your plate. I have heard you talk. I think you might have mentioned it in the in the last flag standing, lastflagstanding.com. Uh, and and I think you mentioned body chemistry and how important that is, um, you know, to, to, to have job. that balance. So yeah, no, you're you you do. I know you do a lot for the people. So just uh, don't be I too do. hard on yourself. You do so much. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not being hard. <laughs> okay. But I, I just gonna want to give David my All word right. as he's, I speak he's, to it's people. It's a good, cool. yeah, it's a good will, message. I will definitely, after hearing and seeing the energy and love off you, yeah. off of you, and the and the light coming off you, literally. I know. Uh, so it's coming it's, so intense, my David, God. David, David, you're, glow, you're glowing. That is sweet. <laughs> it's full nice. on today. All right. Right on, well, right well, on. Let's stay in touch. And for those of you that would like to see the movie, uh, the documentary film that uh, that David stars in for, from my uh, doing was uh, The Raw Natural. And that can be watched on, on some of the networks. I think it's on um, 
Amazon and uh, Prime and uh, Gaia, and uh, you can you can Google it and try to find it somewhere. God knows where, but find but, it on Gaia. I, I know Yorka Gaia, for many years. Gaia. You know, the founder of hey, Gaia. Gaia won't take. Gaia won't take last leg standing. I talked to Mia. Oh my Mia. God. Yeah. I'll put, I'll put in a good word for you. I'll put yeah, in a good word for you. Okay. Yes. As How about as, that? Oh yeah. yeah. I, go for it. Cause I'll I would do love, it. I don't even care about the money. I just would like people to be seeing the information. And, and uh, I just heard back from Mia yesterday. She's like, Oh, this isn't in line with Gaia. I was like, Oh, is it not in line? Why is that? So you gotta, gotta wonder. So David, if you can, if you can. I'll uh, put in a word for you. I, know, I, you know, I know the Gaia people very well, and, okay, and uh, okay. they're they are quirky. I will say that quirky? for sure. Okay, but good, quirky, good. Yes. quirky. Yes, and so I don't mind quirky, but I know because the raw natural is already on there, so it's like they know me. Or am I by my phone? You know, so I'm just like, okay, maybe little, a little, little too prodding beautiful. from the side. I'll, I'll hit okay. them from another angle. And All right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, David. On that. David, tell us where uh, people can find you and yes. uh, get a hold of you. You can always track me down, davidwolf.com, um, W-O-L-F-E.com, which is a Canadian spelling. And uh, I'm going to be basically on Telegram more than any other platform yeah. these days. Telegram.org, it's a it's it's a cool platform. I Just real quick, let me tell you the story about it. A friend of mine is from St. Petersburg. She lived through all the horrors of the Soviet era and all that kind of stuff. And one of her friends growing up was Pavel Durov, who's the founder of Telegram. And so okay. she was really one of the main people when I asked her, because she's one of my few Russian friends, I asked her about Telegram years ago. She said, oh, Pavel, he's awesome. You know, him and his brother, they, they were forced out of Russia by, by Putin because Putin essentially stole their, their Facebook site. They had a social media site. He basically stole oh. it. They fled the country. They were in London. Then now they're in Dubai running telegram okay. and, and he's committed. Pavel's committed to freedom. And Great. I love that. He's, good and, what I, and here's another thing I love about Pavel. And it, it's one of the things he, one of the phrases he uses that I want to put in here, which is he's not a kleptocrat. These people are <laughs> kleptocrats. The Facebooks of the world, the Twitters stealing of the world, the YouTube of the world, they're stealing your data like a gusher. Yeah. So oh, he's yeah. against the kleptocracy. So I love that about I him. So telegram.org. I, I, I do wish I could comment on the telegram. That's the only thing is we could see comments on it. You, I, can, you know, I, I might add that functionality, but for so yeah. many years of being just bashed to pieces on Facebook <laughs> and just, oh I my know. God. And eventually <laughs> just like, look, it's, it's kind of a take it or leave it's it at nice this point. It's nice this way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, like hey, David, up. David, keep the thick skin and never give up. Uh, uh, thank you. And uh, by the way, so I appreciate good. that. What you said earlier, um, chief is that, I, I will never give up as long as I'm breathing. Yeah. I'm going all out and they are they will never be able to stop me. So and I love you have that too. You've got that inside of you. And, that, and that's why you could get through a seven day fast in, in front of their tyranny. It's like, no, nope, because oh, yeah. there's something deeper inside. There's something that's glowing in your soul that is is indomitable. And that's yeah, a beautiful it, thing for others to it, see. Thank you. And, and thank Tell the, the gentleman in Denmark that uh, I'm coming. I'm cool. Coming. Okay, you got it. You got let, it. Let know, you got it. Know. I'm coming. Thank yes, you. Yes, perseverance, severance. Chief, why don't you tell us where uh, you would like people to go? Oh, you could go to uh, lastflagstanding.com or you could go to um, the YouTube uh, channel. The YouTube channels, Tree Link. Dot tree, Russell, uh, right, right. We have li uh, link, uh, link tree, tree, link tree. Uh, slash Russell J. Gold. Yep. That tells yeah. you where all the, the places are. So great. Well, guys, um, what well, I'm so glad that you two finally got to. It's continue. so cool to finally wow. meet you, Chief. You're you're a real inspiration. I mean, it was just, it was. You know what's weird is I you were actually on my list of people I wanted to interview, oh, and good. so when when this all happened, yeah. I was like, wait, did did Angela set that up because I told her to track Russell down? I I've been trying to get me. a hold of you, David. You got to give me your email so, so I can get you two connected. Uh, make sure uh, you're yeah. the gal that's been I've been emailing with gets us connected so that yes. I can have you two connected directly, and then uh, there won't be any more of that. Um, okay, and you then got it. We're going to post this on some of uh, Chief's social media sites, and we'll send you a link if you want to download that. Send me a link, and then I'll put you up on too. my site as well. Maybe Absolutely. you'll make a couple of posts about the Chief. I know they, we I will, something. for sure. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, David, and safe travels on your journeys. And like I said, man, peace and love and never give up. Right on. All Thanks, right. brother. Thank you so much. All right, guys. All right, well, that's it. That's it for today. And as I say on my other podcast, we'll see you on the flip side. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank Cheers. Bye-bye.